My name is Nana Kofi Akwa. I'm from Ghana. And I'm a documentary photographer. Once I discovered the power of photography, and I used to work as a writer in advertising, I felt, okay, uh, I'm blessed with two abilities that most people don't have, so why don't I combine these skills in telling the stories on, on the continent? I was on assignment in Mali on, on Fistula. A lot of the patients I met and, and interviewed and photographed, the main cause was that maybe they got married at the age of 13 or 14, got pregnant at 15. So you have 14-year-old girls and 15-year-old girls and 16-year-old girls getting into labor. And their body is not fully developed to handle the trauma of, of, of delivering these huge babies uh, naturally. Easily the worst thing that can happen to a young woman. You know, I, I met one who cannot walk uh, properly. She needs a, a walking stick. And her only crime was that she got married. You know, she was 15 and got married to a 30-something-year-old man. I was happy to see doctors who are trained in, you know, to perform surgeries and to hear stories of women who have recovered. I mean, who didn't even know there was a, the possibility of a medical treatment. So they've, 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 had, they've, they've been isolated from society for 50 years. You know, I, I photographed old ladies who you know, had it when they were 15 and they got surgery when they were 65. In this journey that the world is now taking with feminism and women's rights, I mean, it's a fight I've been very privileged to be a part of and I always would try and push for women's rights with my work. I'm, I'm very proud to be identified as a feminist. There was a project by UNICEF they were working on on inequality and uh, the challenge was how to properly capture inequality. I said, listen, let me just drive through the country and talk to Ghanaians I meet. So I ended up on farms, I ended up in fishing communities, I ended up, you know, on streets. I mean, I didn't go out looking for the poor. And yet, these were the stories I heard of, of extreme poverty and, and lack and the psychological and emotional impact of it on lives, you know. When you meet somebody like Grace, who's had nine children, but four have passed away. She's a cocoa farmer and lives in a community where she has no electricity. And she's trying to raise five children and five grandchildren as a single 50-something-year-old woman. And the shocking part of Grace's story is that a few kilometers from where she lives, is the biggest gold mine in Ghana. Now, the biggest gold mine in Ghana is one of the biggest gold mines in the world. It's, it's heartbreaking, you know, it's, it's, it's super heartbreaking. Um, and, and I hope that uh, Africa will take responsibility for the conditions of her people. I hope that uh, at the end of my career, when I finally dropped my camera, I would have contributed to helping the world see Africa properly.